record my workflow to uh, up to do videos. So let's start with processing. Uh, right now I've done a session and that session is saved at a location called, um, let's try to bring it up. That session is sa saved at a location that is always the same, just a movies and it's called Google session. That's the last session. So what I then have to do is bring up Final Cut and um, it will come up with the right, correct project. And if everything goes well, it will just link the session that I've just overwritten. So I'm just overwriting the same file. So this is the latest session I have made. Let's see. So the next thing, that's that's the past one. Now it's session six. Increment this, update the file name because that will also, uh, that will also be the title of the files that are output and the project in general. So add download links, download links in index HTML. That's kind of the heading here and that's it already. So now it's kind of important to put the cursor at the right spot so that we get this frame as a thumbnail. And I've prepared everything, so I should be able to just say, well, save exactly that as image here in my uploads folder. So that's gonna be, yeah, I think the, the image itself, the, P, the thumbnail. And the second thing it does is to send this to compressor, which will compress it with uh, custom settings. And that's it, so I'm not just waiting now. And once that, I mean, I'm not waiting, I'm just, I just keep going basically, I don't care. And uh, yeah, so compressor is doing all the heavy lifting here, but unfortunately my CPU overall is not fast enough to um, provide compressor with enough data to actually max that one out, but that doesn't matter. Um, so once that is done, I just upload the file uh, via FTP to my VPS, which sits in the cloud. And this is what we, what we do here, basically. About a minute remaining, I hope that will happen at some point. If not, I will just cut it out. Yeah, I think I will cut it out. And this is basically the pipeline. This is what happens all the time, you know. I just hit the export button, change a few numbers, wait. Then once that export port is done, it shows up here. So I can just drop it into my upload folder here and queue it up for FTP-based uploading. The good thing is about FTP-based uploading that um, it's very efficient compared to encrypted HTTPS-based uploading that I would usually have to do uh, if I upload it directly to YouTube. So this is why I do it. I can have more quality in my videos thanks to this final cut an FTP workflow, which is something I appreciate a lot. So the upload here is finished, so we can have a look at the Google RS number four, which is data acquisition refactoring. And what I can do now, or what I have to do now, basically is have a look at the uploads folder here, which contains that file, it's now complete. And the naming of these is really important, so that should always be a JPEG with the thumbnail and the movie file that belongs to it. Because, uh, yeah, and what I also need to know, unfortunately I don't have it here, uh, is the issue number to later link up the respective issues uh, with the uploaded YouTube file. So let's have a look. This is the refactor, that's the issue 104. So now I've got a little script here in the pro source bash upload, it takes a movie file as input and an issue number and that's it. So if I'm working on Google RS, I don't have to do anything else. So hit enter and then you just wait. The cool thing is that, ah, well, I can't show it, that this goes at 12 megabyte per second. So if I get another log in and I'm kind of unprepared here, Otherwise I would have had that login already. So it's Beeman here. <laughs> and as you can see, it goes out at 11 megabyte per second. Well, it should, should even be 12, but for some reason I don't reach that right now. 
let's see. CPU usage super low, I mean, it doesn't do much, right? But this means that CPU wise, encryption wise, open SSL wise, I could saturate a gigabit network here because that's times 10, right? Kind of times 10 and that would be uh, 120 megabyte per second that with this tool I could push out through a single line. So that's also using resumable upload here, which is a bit more inefficient overall uh, because it kind of has many chunks that it wants to run. Oh, look, it's already done. So this is the video, that's the video ID. It's setting up a thumbnail, adding it to a playlist and linking up the GitHub issue with um, the video I just uploaded, right? So that's pretty cool. So I could go to that issue now, which I will do by clicking here. And you can see it uploaded, it set up a comment that says, well, look at that, here you go. It should also actually have a have the title in here, but that doesn't work so well. Maybe because of the uh, additional unescaped things in there. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I will find a good way to to display the title. But you can see you can see how that works. So it's all automated. All I have to do is basically set a few numbers, drop stuff into the FTP and then execute a script. So it's kind of a, a three step process that I think works very well. It, it's taking as much time as previously, except that I don't have to think so much and uh, you know the tedium is not there anymore. So thanks for watching and have a great day.